Hello guys, here's me, Frederick Lopez, and my room is kind of dark, I have like a new little lamp thing, kind of all interrogation mode type of hideout thing, but uh, just finished my spring semester, got a 90 in my RTF 318 class, pretty much an A minus, B plus, got an 87 in astronomy, so I passed that class, so that's good, and then uh, the other two classes, I hope I do good on, I maybe A, if not at the lowest B, on the other two courses. So it should be good. And uh, grew a bit of a beard. Have like a Hawaiian shirt thing going on here. There's a going like sockless, like sandals, shorts. I don't care. I might look like little Superman flip flops. Right now I'm just enjoying it, but I'm about to make Smallville music video. Finish making it uh, for uh, the two year anniversary. So it's May 12th. Tomorrow is going to be the two year anniversary since Smallville finale, which is just amazing. I can't believe that. But I want to be going to do a whole CW thing on the channel, so make a Vampire Diaries video and Arrow to go on with that. Maybe a Supernatural one later, but so far just those, because I watched those. In Supernatural, I did the earlier seasons, but I really want to wait to do like a really good one with that. I haven't found out the song yet. But it's good that I got that semester done, so now I'm back home in my room. Can't really see it well, new bedspread thing. Kind of looks kind of 50 ish like if I'm... Kind of like, I feel like I'm a senior citizen or my grandparents' place to a certain degree. But anyways, aside from the screams and Fright Nights, take those out. I have Casablanca, Bond 50, my Terminators, an empty Dr. Pepper bottle, but Smallville's, Lois and Clark, you get the Dark Knight Trilogy, Mission Impossible. Most of my favorite movies here, X-Files, Rock of Ages, G.I. Joe, Speed, Die Hard. I got Halloween recently, I added H2O with H2O there. Oh, this dropped. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. There, there was Scream, and then the Lethal Weapons. But that's that. Got Injustice Gods Among Us. So, it should be pretty interesting after my first semester. My first year away from home, now I'm back for summer. Take my foreign language and Spanish over here at McLennan Community College, and then I am done. So, when I return to UT, I'm getting one step closer to my dream of becoming a director, I will be taking my major at RTF. So, I'll be taking narrative production, director workshop, and two other courses. Oh, intro to editing, of course, and then another course, study course. So, it's nice. And then this Friday, besides Star Trek, uh, my sister is getting her master's, and I get to go by Beaumont, by Houston, to see her walk the stage, which is nice, because I was like four, three years old last time that happened. So, we'll see where that goes. I'll film part of that and show you that, and then me going to college here at home, while watching movies and all that other stuff, and then movie ideas, I'm currently beginning to write uh, a vampire script idea. Uh, a friend of uh, my friend, uh, Yvonne, or Rebecca, like, really inspired me to write it. So, that and living at Dobie, so it's going to be really cool, like I said, like a Stepford Wives Fright Night type of flick. And then I was talking to my nephews, and I don't, I don't, I didn't even know who Slenderman was, but I have a really cool rendition for a Slenderman film. That's going to be really good. I mean, really good. At least in my opinion. It might be total crap to others, but... Well, that's what I'm doing, and... I'll catch up with you all later. Oh yeah, and then I got this new Batman rug. That's, like, really cool. So, that's nice. Here I am. It's May 15th. I just woke up from a long nap. It's a two-year anniversary that Matrix Reloaded came out, and I'm about to get ready to watch Arrow's Season 1 finale. And then Friday is going to be May 17th, 10 years since I saw my first R-rated film in theaters, which would be Matrix Reloaded. It was on a Saturday. And then I'll see my sister graduate and record that. So that's what I'm up to so far. Hello guys, I'm getting ready for my sister's graduation trip tomorrow in Houston. Burning some CDs, or ripping them to the library. Well, that's comic book movie news right now. So, get put it onto the MP3. 
And I passed my classes in much better grade than last time. I mean, the other ones are B's and stuff, and it was good. Astronomy, I passed with a B plus. Narrative strategies, I got an A. RTF intro to image and sound got an A minus, and uh, UGS got an A minus, so that's good. So I passed my classes there, passed astronomy. Now, besides Spanish, during the summer, I'm going to be core complete and work on just my major in RTF and filmmaking this fall. So I'm super excited right now, and uh, currently, as I said earlier, working on a vampire script and a Slender Man script and maybe even a superhero script. I have to say, I'm working on a whole bunch of ideas. I'm just really hyper in my imagination right now and everything. And I uh, didn't see Star Trek today though. So today's May 16th. Tomorrow's the 17th. Celebrated yesterday, May 15th, the 10 year anniversary of Matrix Reloaded by watching that on the Blu-ray. Forget how good that was actually. I mean sure it's not like the first, but it's still a pretty good movie. And uh, so I did that and then tomorrow, or as you see later after this, scenes of the graduation trip, then afterwards, and then I'll show you some other stuff. So that's where I'm at right now, doing really awesome. How y'all doing? It's the night of May 16th before I leave in the morning. We drive to Houston or Belmont, Belmont, whatever, by Houston. And my dad hasn't driven by there. He drove by Houston once, so it should be interesting. So hopefully it's not like a vacation movie. If not, I'll record it. It'd be like vacation with Chevy Chase and the Griswolds. Make sure to have a holiday road and... Maybe some Wake Me Up Before You Go Go by Wham. <laughs> but uh, make it like an 80s movie, but I doubt that would happen. I'd probably film along the way if there's any nice sights or when we get there, but I had a Blu ray burner slash rip, a DVD rip, and Blu ray player for my laptop. I had my old one, but I never installed the new one, I just did so I can watch uh, Dark Knight Rises. So that's what I'm doing right now, and then we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not like a vacation movie. Here we are on the trip. We're about to go to Houston. We went through a huge fiasco. The keys being lost, and thanks to Fred, they found it. And here's Sissy in the background. I'm about to get ready to go on the Blu-ray. Watch Dark Knight Rises. And here we are with Pooh Bear and Sissy in an area we'd never have been before. So here we go. And there's my aunt looking in the mirror. There's some pine trees that we saw. Not as much as there were earlier, but it works for like a period, whatever film you film, pine trees, or even a zombie apocalypse movie or something like Mad Max. So, different geography. Now we're here, we just got out of Whataburger, ate lunch, and now we are on our way. We are on our way. Nice palm trees and pine. Seems like no matter what, I can never skip the rest of it. Mama, did you bring shoes? Right. As we're reaching our way mom? over here, I just realized that my life has become a movie and we have reached oh, deliverance territory. Yeah. 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 Let's hope not. Yeah. Let's hope it's not like that movie. We'll see. And here we have the most widest, longest row of trees ever. All that is a row of trees. Did you see the uh, the truffle of uh, lumber? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Let's see. That is a row of trees. No, I, didn't, I didn't get the side of it, I just got the front. Okay. You didn't get the big logs that were on it. Wow, it's like a giant maze or Twin Peaks or something. It's gonna be something supernatural here. That'd be cool. Maybe another movie. Maybe Slender Man's here. Even though he's full of shit, it's bullshit. Slender Man doesn't exist. So here, my niece had to take a restroom break. And we're like in this real redneck town that's like really fucking creepy. Almost something like Mississippi burning or something. With a name Sour Lake or Sour Piss, I don't know. But my aunt and mom are taking too long in the dollar store. 
taking way too long in there. We're almost there, but we want to go. I swear. If there is like a zombie apocalypse and there'd be a whole bunch of crazy hicks everywhere, this would be the town. Seriously. This would be the town. It seriously would be. I'm not sure, but... Damn it, this woman's out before. What the fuck? Let's hopefully get it by Houston. I tell you what. This place is so Hickville that it makes Waco look like Austin, Texas. Come on, guys, get the hell out of there. I know, we're like so close to being there. I don't want to buy anything from here. I mean, I want to get out of this town. Seriously, I'm not playing. I can sense it. It's like here we're like the only... Well, everybody's America, but in the narrow sense, dumbass side of this, this state and country, we're the so-called only Mexicans in this town, which we should bail out of this town right now. It's like one of those Twin Peaks episodes or X-Files where something bad happens and you're just stuck there. Like seriously, I feel like I'm in a Tales of the Crypt episode. It's time to go. I don't want to be one of those gullible people. Be like, oh, this place looks Come friendly. On, oh, I'm talking on the phone here before these crazy hicks come after us and just be like deliverance. We can go all deer hunter on each other in the woods. Children of the corn out here. Brothers and sisters, or whatever, you never know. Crazy ass Mormons. <laughs> Come on, let's bell. Hopefully, we go because this place is fucking good. Six packs of Good luck, you drink that. I'm drinking my Dr. Pepper. It's redneck, redneck. Yeah. It ain't justified, Ragnick. Get your ass in. I want cup, baby. I got the wrong foot up. That gets fucking now. creepy. He really. probably did. That's the reason he was so. Okay, cool. Because okay, I can imagine I some you. crazy hobo beard with a fucking axe and a brawny shirt coming oh. after us pretty soon. Oh, I bet you he was. You know what it's like? It's like those homeless people off a lost. That lady. Good thing you missed it, sissy. This place creeps the shit out of me. I'm not going by Houston. Maybe Dallas, Fort Worth, but I'm going to stay by Austin. South Texas is better than this. I don't think these people over here voted for President Obama. I have to mute this part while you're filming because I like I don't want to upload a documentary and have some dude watch and be like, what the hell? That lady was talking about my divorce. <laughs> <laughs> That's an older thing. Uh-huh. I'll think I'd rather go to the one in three rivers. Okay. Yeah, we were gonna get the the for that's cheese. We'll go figure there's one more other Mexican, he's just a long guy here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Valero. Hello. We're off the creepy side of town. Did we have, what did she say? Hopefully we'll be about the hotel soon, so I'll get back to y'all. Cool, we're on the I think Mae's gonna get out of school lately. No. No. Just him a picture of her. Have to figure out where the hotel is. <laughs> kind of Hicksville. We're actually in Mississippi, Parts of Texas. We have a traffic jam that could compete with Austin's now. Oh, y'all wanted to go to this place. What place is it? It's a basilica. 
it's over 100 years old, it's a, I get that. St. Anthony's Basilica. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking really pretty, so. <coughs> Here we are, made it. I'm having me a nutty bar and chilling now. Just worked out with my niece, and outside it looks like the Shining or Eva Hotel, and meanwhile I wait for that and my sister to get here. Meanwhile my mother is freezing her ass here messing with the thermostat. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. <laughs> You said you're sick of forests, you said? And trees? I don't know. I'm watching Drive. Yeah, we're gonna take pictures of poo. <laughs> I'm learning the phone. I'm filming you right now. Having the song a real human being, real hero, while you're getting some snacks and some peanuts. Good movie. Here I am, all dressed up, getting ready to go. Sister graduating. It's a 10 year anniversary since I saw my first R rated movie, The Matrix We Loaded. All right, getting ready to go to my sister's graduation. And just a note, Belmont, Houston, around area, it's fucking racist. Matching with what? Those teenagers? Uh, I think no. After you go to college, man. Hey, Patrick, you need some. You need some lipstick. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Go, I don't dress in drag like you. His head was so big. There's my sister getting ready for graduation in her cap and gown. And we need to take a picture of, 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 of mom and okay. yes. okay. My brother-in-law. Uh, my one and only. Yeah, There's my oldest nephew, Zachary. Second, Manny. My mom. And Irene. Niece, Alicia. A dad on his iPhone. And, yes. No, this is for my documentary. I just saw... The Hobbit. There and back again. I'm taller than you. What would that make you? Huh? Oh no, you He's a gnome. Manny's a gnome. And he's like one of those Wilshire gnomes. Oh, it's the, the Wilshire. Why, why are you laughing? Cookies. You're wobbling with the tights and everything. And why are you laughing? Your so, back bites. So you're the gnome that makes cookies. Okay, Alfred, that's okay. Here we are at the stage, and Manny's looking. We're there. That's where my sister's gonna walk later. So, I think I'll, I'll show you that. what that's like then, okay? Yeah. It's like maybe a pug balloon or something, or. Oh, they found him. They found mom. Sam? She's on the uh, Master of Education. Where? She's on the uh, mini uh, Master of Education and Administration. Where? She's right here. Ticket. Yes. What the hell they out? She looks just like you, I swear. <laughs>
I hope it came out okay. It was a little bit shaky. What? Well, I was filming. I don't know about y'all. I didn't, I was here kind of Sorry, I can't yell that high. My voice hurts. After graduation, but just imagine this is a zombie apocalypse. A pretty crazy sequence. Pretty crazy. Come on, Andy. I guess so. It turned kind of white go high at the end there. <laughs> No, he does this one here? Does it Zach is with us now. The truck? Um. I mean, I can do it. I'm just asking. I don't know if it had to. I was going to close it and I couldn't get it down. I thought, thought, well, maybe it does by itself, so I didn't close it. I just couldn't reach it. I'm not tall enough. Wow. Oh. Well, that was that. We'll see how the rest of the summer goes.